Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Whims of Fate, where the Nishling gods are watching over our tribe's legacy as they lead them along through the many whims of fate. And we are currently staring down a rogue male that we want nothing to do with. This nasty rogue male right over here with prickly body is actually Ice Lily's father, born to our beautiful... Look at her, look at her, there she is. Born to the beautiful sister, now deceased due to the illness of double stacked genes that she had of Korra. So Korra's younger sister did pass away. Unfortunately, she uh, had a whole bunch of sickly genes and just wasn't able to make it. And Korra's younger brother, Jovan, is also sickly and most likely will not be able to make it as well. But she is doing her best to watch over both of them while trying to lead the two new females who has arrived in her tribe, Isko and Aika. And Aika is amazing because she is a spotty nicheling with heat body perfectly made for this icy mountain where we are trying to help our nichelings survive long enough to unlock the icy genes that you can get the longer you stay in cold climates. So we are trying to get the antlers, big body, and heat body, I think are all the things that unlock on the cold climate. And because we have to roll a dice and let the whims of the nicheling gods to determine which island we go to, it may be a long time before we end up on another snowy island. So I want to try to spend more time here, but we're going to have to see if we do. Our food reserves are actually starting to run surprisingly low for how many the Whims of Fate challenge has traditionally had. And we are being plagued by Berinas, by birds, by Arctic foxes, balance bears, and now prickly rogues who might do a lot of damage if we try to fight them off. Currently, Rovan, our sickly brother, is standing guard trying to defend him off, but unfortunately he is just not very strong. All he has are his sharp back claws that he can try to kick with, and he is uh, not very fast either because those sharp back claws make it difficult for him to walk. So we're trying to fend him off as best we can. Isoli is conflicted because her dad is like this really scary rogue with his wily ways, and and Korra is currently pregnant, Isko is currently pregnant, and Aika is currently pregnant. So our fingers crossed that we'll be able to hopefully find a safe place to have our babies while keeping our tribe to five members. As long as Korra is alive, we can only have five members in the tribe at a time. So those pregnancies might last a little while or we might have to release Ravon from the tribe anyway. Ah, so let's carry on and see what the whims have for us today. Oh, a balance bear and a berina! I see, it's one of those days then, my friends. <laughs> okay then. Yeah, this is gonna be a little interesting. Um, all right, well, can I take this guy out? Okay, you need to get away from us. This rogue is like taking advantage of the fact that we suddenly had to wrestle with a huge berina. Rovan only has a couple days left to live. So uh, the balance bear is unfortunately under the tree of life that we were just headed to. So I don't know if that's actually going to be a good option for us. Isolate is going to be tossed down here to hopefully eat some of the fruit. Uh, Isco only has a few days left to live. She only has four days left to live. Rovan at this rate only has two days, so we might want to stay near a nest, or at least somewhat near a nest. Uh, this rogue is still trying to follow us, so I don't know what to do about him. And then Aika also still, I guess we're going to have to run towards the, all right, maybe we'll, hmm, all right, with a balance bear here. All right, there's another tree of life over here. So maybe if we make a run for it along the beach, it'll work out. But Ika can actually grab some food for us and we're gonna have her come down this way. And then Ravan, what can you do, Ravan? I guess the best he can do is just kind of like hold the defensive right over here. All right, balance bear is still coming. So let's make a run for it. All right, let's, let's run along the beach. That's my decision. All right, everyone down to the beach. Get away from me, you nasty rogue. Is Korra gonna attack him? <laughs> if we did, if we did attack him, we'd end up bleeding. And if we end up bleeding, we can do a lick to get rid of her snout. But, uh, okay, we're gonna attack him. Did we, did we get hit? No, we didn't get hit, what? We managed to attack without, oh my gosh. I think we had just enough defense to be able to attack that prickly thing. Oh, that's so cool. All right, well, we're gonna be running through the beach 
There is another nest. All of the females. Oh my gosh! And look who's waiting for us! Von Duke knew who is actually Cora's mate. Well, that is a little bit of a plot twist right there. Uh, waiting to hopefully. Can we get, get out of here? Oh, we died! He sacrificed himself to try to get rid of that terrible rogue. What a brave brother, Cora. You had a great brother. Ah! Balance Bear is coming! All right, what to do? Um, all right, Isco has to have her baby, like, really, really soon, or else she's not going to make it. So we need to get a move on here. The rogue is still following us. There's Dodomingos everywhere. We can't really slow down because we're going to fall into a nest and have a baby somehow by accident. Uh, Isolate is now an adult, so she needs to run or else the evil rogue will catch up to her. And it doesn't even matter to him that he is her own father. That's terrible. Uh, all right, we're going to keep moving. Ika is going to keep going. All right, yeah, we're going to just keep running for the other tree. And I think Isco is going to have to stop to have her baby the next day. In fact, we can have two babies the next day. Or even, well, Van Duke knew is about to pass away. So I think that would be ridiculous. All right, Isco is just too old. She's going to have her baby now. And Cora will go ahead. Uh, who is... Yeah, we'll let Cora go ahead and have her child at the same time so that she can raise them both as twins. And we're gonna have Ice Lily and Isco do a little bit of exploring. Both of them trying to find some way that they can help bring in food in their own unique way. For Ika, it's gonna be finding some roots and for Isolate it's going to be grabbing some of these berries and Isolate at least you are here to possibly inherit the whims legacy should all be for naught so all right now Isco thank you so much for joining us and saving us when we were freezing to death on the side of the mountain and Cora good luck with that baby two babies no, a sickly baby! Curses! All right, so we have Analara, who is a... Be that's a beautiful name, by the way. Who is unfortunately sickly, and we have Tanunu, who is unfortunately sickly, and both of them have water body. What? How did that even work out? Like, how did both of them end up with... I don't even know how both of them ended up with water body, but both of them ended up with water body. Um, I guess they could be good swimming nichelings, and unfortunately, one is sickly. So we are going to have to stay here for just a minute while we wait. The bounce bear is coming! Ah! So we are going to have to stay here for just a minute while we wait and try to uh, get the babies up and going. Come on, little ones! We really need to be able to run for it, okay? Because the balance bear is definitely coming. Uh, let's see. And then I guess Ika can just keep, like, clearing away some grass for a minute. All right, there we go. So the balance bear is coming. Cora still needs to have another child, if you ask me. Babies! Oh my gosh! Speaking of babies, there's a berry in a hair now. What is this? Why do the whims have it in for these nichelings? I can't believe this. Can the balance... Can, oh, what if we befriend the friendly Barina? Baby! All right, isolate. Defend yourself, I suppose? Aika can literally not help you with this. And Cora, come along. Come on, babies. Run, little babies. Cora, what are we going to do? I guess defend Cora. She's trying to defend the babies. And then all isolate can do is a couple sharp attacks that didn't really do much. We can run over here. Aika needs to have a child as well. This is this is chaos. What is going down? Oh my gosh. Ah! This is terrible in all directions. This is terrible in every direction. Cora is about to pass away. We have the balance bear here. Anna Lara is, is about to pass away. Like, uh, she's bleeding. All right. All right, what do we do? What do we do? Okay, okay, we've got this. Um, all right. We're gonna, Tanunu, we kicked him out into the water to try to fend for himself. We're going to lick our daughter and throw her into the sea so that hopefully those two can fend for themselves. Cora is now going to come up here and do her best to defeat this, this Barina. Come on, there we go. We just defeated the Barina. We're going to go ahead, offer the food to the friendly Barina. And Aika needs to have her child soon. And I think with her final breaths, Cora is going to give Ice Lily 
the lead of the tribe. I cannot believe that this has turned into such a mess. We have a friendly Barina who might be able to help defend us if he lives, and we have sent two children out to the sea in hopes that they will possibly survive should everything go wrong here with the Whim's legacy. Everything's going wrong here with the Whim's legacy! Oh my gosh! This is ridiculous! The balance bears cometh! I slowly... Okay, we need to see how many members are allowed in the family. Four? This is terrible. This is terrible. We're only allowed four tribe members right now. Oh my gosh. I can run. Okay. Run and run. Isolate. Run. And let's send the little ones... They're going to come with us, I suppose, but I don't think they're going to live very long and they're going to run. I need Ika to have her baby. Oh, Ika, please live. Oh no, my heat body nicheling. She never was able to even have her own child. I am so mad right now. Anna Lara has gotten a leech. Isolate is on her own. This cannot be the end of the whims. Isolate, get up there and find somewhere where you can please call for a mate. I beg you. Oh my gosh. Is the friendly Barina, is the friendly Barina trying to defend us? I think the friendly Barina is trying to defend us. Analara needs to have, okay, we're so desperate. I'm going to let Analara run for it and have a child as well. Just so that the whims have a chance to survive. And we're gonna have, can I have Tanunu continue to distract the balance bear deeper into the waters? And then is there any place where I slowly can run up here and call for a mate? I will even take a rogue mate at this point. I'm so desperate. Holy canoodles. I hope the friendly Barina is defending us. I slowly, I mean, we're running full circle at this point. Don't you dare freeze. <laughs> Analara, run, 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 run. There's a healing plant there. Tanu, you might need to raise any children that you stumble upon from Analara. This is, this cannot be the end of the whims. Okay, Isolate, you stay alive, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Okay. Isolate, I'm gonna send her running. Oh no! No, right into the waiting arms of another balance bear. I was trying so hard to get to the heated area. On the lorry, get under this tree, have this baby. We're gonna have Tanu rush over here to take care of it. Oh my gosh. I didn't even change the mutations. I totally forgot. <gasps> Ice Lily is frozen and there's a rogue male. No! This is terrible. All hope may be resting on Sissy here. Okay, we can only have four nichelings. Analara is gonna die on the next turn. I think I, I think I can pull this off like some sort of miracle. We're gonna move her up here. Oh no, I can't. I can't. Ah! <laughs> this is terrible. Sissy might be our only hope for the whims. Oh no, isolate. Can you move? Come on, sweetie. I suddenly can't move. She's frozen. I suddenly can't move. She's frozen. We have death. Death over here. Sickly Nishling here. Tanu, he has the common cold. I think he gave it to his daughter. He can at least gather these nuts and he's going to have to defend his child. He can gather this healing fruit. So can his daughter when she's of age. Let's get her up here. Oh my gosh. And would running to the jungle really even help us? I don't know. I don't know if that would be a viable choice. What was that? It was the Arctic Ram Foxes. Ice Lily, I think, is going to pass away of old age no matter what I do. Oh my goodness. Can I even get near a, a, a place where we could try to call for help? Sissy can have... Okay. And Tanunu, I think, is permanently going to be sickly. Sissy's going to come over and eat this so that she can survive at least. And... Tanunu, mm, mm. run along here and try to call for other nichelings. I think that's my only option at this point. I slowly forgive me. I really loved you too. This is terrible. 
Okay, the Arctic ram foxes are making a bunch of noise. Yeah, her father is always going to be sickly, Tanyunu is. But I think Sissy is just warm enough. Whoops, okay, I didn't see anything. She does have cold resistance. But Isolate is not going to live long enough. Okay, Sissy, you're about to be the new leader of the tribe. This is very spooky. We're going we're gonna to have her run for it this way. And her father needs to run for it further away from her so that he doesn't get her sick. Ah, oh, Ice Lily just died! No, Ice Lily! An icy death! This cannot be an icy end to the whims, I beg of thee! I can have six members in the tribe now, and the leader is Sissy. Oh boy. Goal number one, find more nichelings. Warm up the dad. Okay, warm up the dad. And he's gonna come down here and we are gonna find more nichelings. I saw somebody eating from that. We've gotta make a run for it. Sissy, thankfully, is warm. She's big. She can hopefully endure the cold that we find here on the mountains. And no matter what it takes, we need to find another nicheling for Sissy, like, now. We can have six members in the tribe. Holy cow, not right now, walrus, dear. I don't need you. I don't need you giving me the startlement. All right, come on, you two. Come on, I can't even keep them near each other because... Oh, wait, he's over the common cold. Yes, I can keep them near each other. Don't you dare freeze. Don't either of you dare freeze. I said don't freeze. <laughs> All right, come on. Over to the, the, the calling spot. We need to get to the calling spot. Come on, sissy. Come on, you two. We just need to get you guys close enough that we can come over here. We've made a full circle. Oh, I'm gonna... Am I gonna be that desperate? I'm gonna be... I might be that desperate. Okay. We're gonna run past your dad. And unfortunately, sissy, I am so sorry. Let's see what the Nicheling gods have decreed that you can pass on. Medium ears, which I don't have. Or lean body... Which I don't have. Thank goodness lean body would be very bad here. Or burying a hind legs. Curses. Burying a hind legs is what the Nicheling gods want her to pass on. I want higher fertility. Meanwhile, Tanunu, we have normal hind legs that the Nicheling gods have decreed that he can pass on. And I am going to also request of him higher fertility at this point. I am so desperate. And unfortunately... Gotta make sure that we can pass on the lineage no matter what, but we're about to start calling for other nichelings in desperation. Come on, sissy. Alright, we're getting there. Where is that Barina? It is a aggressive Barina. Just my luck. Great. Whoa! Hello! Gorgeous! New Kira Duke! Thank you for joining us, please! Come join our tribe! Help save us. Oh my gosh. Is he like the perfect salvation? No, get back over here. Get back over here, you goose. We need help. We need desperately need help. Let's let Sissy go ahead and have her baby. Oh my gosh. Could this be it? Could this be our hero? Will he stick around long enough that the whims will be saved? We are only allowed six members. We've had a baby. Don't be sickly. He is not sickly. <gasps> okay. Join our tribe. Attack this Barina. Attack that Barina. All right. Guard the baby. Jump up here. And I think we're going to do it, guys. <laughs> Thank goodness. We were so desperate that we actually had to have uh, quite the bit of inbreeding going on there. I'm sweating bullets of panic. But I think that this beautiful uh, what am i going to name him i kind of want to name him golden frost or something i don't know like like uh, uh, the sunrise like the, the, the glint of gold upon the sun whatever you want i might just i might just name him like oh i don't know probably maybe maybe, maybe gold star i think i'm just going to name him gold star and and sissy is sissy and then we're going to have little uh vakir and tanunu and we're going to take care of the Spirina, and we're going to survive. The whims are going to make it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.